What is going on everybody? My name is Jay and me and Mike are playing some Lorcana, but we're not just playing any Lorcana. Today, Mike, we are playing starter deck Lorcana. So Gen Con is coming up very soon in less than a week for us. We will be in Indianapolis and getting ready for Lorcana, uh, Star Wars Unlimited demos, all kinds of gaming awesomeness. But there are starter deck challenge tournaments and going into these starter deck challenge tournaments we want to know what the best decks are what the best starter decks are how to play against the different starter decks and what you're looking for in your opening hand for those starter decks like what are your win conditions etc so that's what we're going to be trying to do in the next few videos sound about right coach yep yep absolutely if if you're not going to gen con hopefully this video will just be an interesting way for you to decide which starter deck you want to buy if you're not going to buy all of them true 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 but let's go ahead and roll off 11. 11 the classic the classic a 10 one shy man close one uh i think i'll go first okay i feel like that's probably ideal no matter what deck you're playing in the starter deck challenge i would think yeah i don't know probably. i could i could see it going the other way though where you probably run out of cards real quick and yeah. so having another one might be a bigger benefit i guess i guess we'll see as we as we feel it out and play a couple games let's see what we got here all right so both of these like the, i'm playing purple blue, purple orange can't go wrong with purple orange if i'm gonna be honest with you both of these are stupid good for card advantage wardrobe is fantastic stat wise and mickey mouse is two lore early questing evasive is not irrelevant especially if you draw into the float sims this is not going to be relevant early this is not bad early or bad when you get it so that you can quest for two like questing i think is going to be really good and it's got five health so it's not going to be easy to uh take take over the problem here is i'm going first and i don't have a one drop i don't really want to not have a one drop so i think i have to put the majority of this stuff back if anything I don't keep Maleficent and hope to draw into it later and then keep one of these to be able to sing with. Maybe wardrobe and then put the rest of this back. Like Maleficent, I really want to keep, but I don't know if I, let's see. Unless he's playing Steel, which has Fire the Cannons. Yeah, yeah. He probably just Fire the Cannons from Maleficent if he is playing Steel. So we're just gonna put that back and we're gonna draw five. Okay, we got a Pascal. Guys, we did it. We did it. We got a Pascal. GG. All right, let's see what we draw here. Oh, okay. I mean, I love this. These these are great. I like seeing an early Mickey too, actually. This is actually just like not bad as like a curve. Um, I don't think I want Aurora in my opening hand, but I also don't really want to draw into her later. So I might actually just keep this knowing that I'm going to ink it. Same with Frying Pan. I don't really like this card very much so i'm probably not ever playing it i do like captain hook that can stop a lot of things on his side prevent him from getting good value out of cards that have three health i don't know which deck he's playing but but it's a very good one drop and then aurora having two lore is pretty relevant but i think i'd rather have stats in a format like this so i think i might put this one back put Kristoff back and plan on playing mickey maybe try and find some more expensive cards for mickey to uh ramp into I'm going to keep these because I, I really don't want to draw into them later and I need some ink at least. So we'll just do that. Okay. Here, here's the ramp plan right there. And we got smash. That's also great. So here we go. All right. I'm first. I think, I think you did say you yep. want to go first. I'm going to put a control your temper into ink. And what do you know? I'm going to play me all Pascal. Wow. Clutch. That is a good, uh, a good one drop. <laughs> All right, well, I'll draw a card. Going back to my roots, coach. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ink a frying pan. Oh, and he's playing steel. Yeah, never, never playing this card. Yeah, you know it. And then I'm going to play a Captain Hook. Excellent. I thought I had a good one drop, and then you played Pascal. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have Fire of the Cannons in that deck. That's true. That's true. All right, well, ready? Draw. Oh, baby. I think this goes in the ink and we play this because it's better than not playing anything. Or is it? This game's probably gonna go. Well, I need a play so I can start getting value out of Olaf. So Pascal. No, or yeah, Pascal, sorry. Normally I would ink this and just not play anything because these are really good, but I'm gonna have this. So 
Uh, we're gonna ink a wardrobe. We're gonna play it all off, and we're gonna quest for one. Okay. All right. I'll draw here. Ooh. Okay. That's that's interesting. I'm gonna ink Aurora, the four cost one, and I'm gonna play a two cost Aurora. Oh, look at the lore. <laughs> look at the lore. Don't. I don't know if I want to quest. I think maybe I do. You probably. I don't have a way to defeat him. Yeah, unless you trade your Pascal into it, which I'm cool with. So I don't have. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. All right, ready. Draw. Oh, that's kind of spicy. That is. What are the chances of that, huh? <laughs> mm. What are? I don't the know what it is, but <laughs> I'm I'm terrified now. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I think I have to do this. I want to play this, but I can't. I'm gonna put wardrobe into ink, and I'm gonna Another put, wardro oh, put a wow. Rafiki down, and I'll swing wow, it. Wow, uh, nice. <laughs> that Captain was a good Oak. draw. <laughs> that was a top deck, pure top that deck. That was a good draw. Uh, and that's it. All right. I did not consider the rush in that deck, which I should have. Me either. Oh, okay. How strange. Um, but that's good. To... People are seeing now. They're learning. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're gonna be. They're gonna go to the <laughs> tournament and they're gonna be like, "I'm not questing." There's Rafiki in that deck. Yeah, exactly, exactly. This is valuable information. Yep. I think uh, this is tough. Do I kind of want to play this, even though this is also good? Hmm. I'm saving that. Definitely not inking that. Do I just ink this? Is it just too late for this to matter? I kind of want to get to this though. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm probably never playing this. I really don't want to ink it. I, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep this. If this game goes long, as slow as it seems like it might go, <laughs> this has to stay. Yeah. So I think I think the plan is just to ink this Aurora. Mm -hmm. I think this is this is right. I'm gonna shift onto this Aurora. Let's go. And I'm gonna take out Rafiki. That's definitely a play. That is definitely a play. And that's, that's my turn. All right. Where's my other Rafiki? Ready, I guess, draw. I, get, I guess I could have quested and then like force you to deal with, like force you to attack in, but I don't know if that's actually better. I, you, you can, yeah, we'll just keep it the way I think this is better. I don't know, yeah. I think like, I, we're sort of going back to like the early feeling of Lorcana and it feels like board control is the way that you win. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we got some options here. We can play this or we can ink and play this. I'm thinking just straight up play this is better, but at the same time, maybe it's not because he has Aurora out. Maybe this is better for me to play. Maybe, maybe I do do that. I don't know. This feels really, really weird. Uh, no. I'm going to ink a Cinderella, and I'll play... Well, I guess I can wait. I'll just play friends first. Mm -hmm. Draw two. Ah, oh, okay. I think we'll ink a Mickey, and okay. we'll play a Stitch. And then are there, quest for one. Are, are there three friends on the other side in that deck? Uh, I can't remember. It's three or two. It's probably three. Okay. That is good to know. Ooh, all right. That's a good card. I want all of these cards. <laughs> I, I guess I don't actually need this one. Um, this is tough. I think I think I'm doing this. Whoops. I'm gonna play Mickey. This is so tough though. I, weirdly, I think that's I don't know if this is like good or not, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna ink smash. It feels like too high of a value card to ink, but I wanna play fire the cannons this turn. I think I fire the cannons at Stitch. Okay. Because you can't, well, you could take out Aurora, but you have to sink both of your characters into it, which I'm mm -hmm. probably cool with. So I'll just quest for two and pass it over. Okay, we're gonna ink a be your guest. Which one do I play? Probably this one. We'll play Cinderella. Nice. And we'll quest for one and we'll pass. Okay. I definitely should have inked this. This was definitely a better ink. Um, but I'm going to play Grandma. And I'm going to ink Flounder. And I'm going to quest for one. And I'll pass. Down to one card in hand. That's what I like to see. 
Yeah, I think that's how a lot of these starter, de starter deck games are going to go, unless you're flying purple. Oh, for sure. Going to play a Moana. Ooh. We're going to quest for one. Not what I wanted to see there, coach. I know. I know. Sorry. What you got? You would have to sink all your stuff in. Maybe you're fine with that. You would lose Aurora, keep Mickey, and then get Grandma out. Hmm. I think I'll pass. I think okay. it's going think, slow enough. I think it's reasonable. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna pay five for Simba. Oh, snap. Where's my removal? <laughs> In another deck. Um, and I'll quest for two. I think, should I quest with Aurora too? And just, nah, I don't think so. I like having Ward. Ward is nice. I don't know what I'm warding against, but. Yeah, this, this deck ain't got none. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I wanna attack with her on my terms. Draw, that's kinda sweet. Sure. Play another Cinderella. We're gonna quest for two. Do this. Quest for three. Ready her. Yeah. We'll um we'll sing friends with her. And then we're gonna ink a Yzma. We're gonna quest for two. And we'll pass. Okay. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Now you got lots of stuff you can do. Yep. Lots of lots of stuff. Well, I gotta take out Moana. That's like priority number number one. There Probably. is there is a big Doctor Facilier in this deck. One. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. Which is pretty cool. That's really cool. With that Moana. Deck, it sounds pretty powerful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna hit Moana for three, and okay. then I'll fin finish it off with Simba. I'll gain a lore, and. I uh, will run this into Cinderella. Goes into my inkwell. Exerted, right? Yep. I think I. Well, I can't play this, so I guess. Do I just, I'll probably just wait till the next turn then. Mickey, what's Mickey doing? Questing for one. <laughs> yep. Yep. That is. The, well. One, two, three, four, five. I do have six on board, so I'll get to nineteen. Yeah, if, that's a if lot. I, if I quest out. That's a lot. Um, I'm gonna hit Cinderella for one with Mickey instead. Okay. Put her in uh, range of Simba. I probably That's do it. just quest out, right? Like. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not I going mean, how, to. How do I deal with all of this? I'm not going to, but I think that's probably the play. Like, like if, if I you go to if you 19, quest out and you play almost anything else, I don't think that there's a card that I could play that would. Well, that's not fun. <laughs> Ugh. I guess. Fine. If I have to. I mean, Man. you cannot. I, how, how does any deck, how does any starter deck beat that? <laughs> yep. All right. I'm done. All right. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> GG. <laughs> GG. All right. So uh, amber purple is is good. Yep. I, what seems, I seems strong. had options of was I was going to sing this and mm, then get Moana mm -hmm. back and then just play her back out, which I think mm -hmm. is probably just as good. Yeah, it's not gonna matter in this. I mean, I technically have what? I have probably more smashes in here, probably more fire the cannons. So you putting down more characters is better than fewer. Yeah, for sure. Um, and well, they they do both die to uh, swords, so maybe. Oh uh, yeah, if you draw swords right here, did you? If draw I draw it? swords right here, no, I didn't. But if I draw <laughs> swords right here, can I still kill everything? I don't even think so. You would kill I guess this. I can. I can kill that here. I can do that there. This. No, I can't. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd have to draw, grab your sword. And then you would have this, and I would have 19. Yeah. And a Moana in hand. Right. Right. Yep. I had Maui in hand ready to go for next turn. Oh, man. Or for, yeah, for the, this turn, but just too slow. I don't think you can play a long game against that. Deck. Who would have thought of uh, drawing cards was good? I yeah, mean... weird. <laughs> <laughs> I should have I, I should have inked Grandma instead of Smash and just kept Smash. That would have helped. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So that is the first starter deck game. Look out for Orange Purple. That's the one that needs to be dethroned now. So uh, catch you guys in the next one. Hope these are uh, useful. Bye. Bye.